So we will look at problem 20 to 10 from the code. Here is the problem statement. Pause this video for a second. Try to come up with your own solution. Um, even though this problem is labeled easy, if you look at the accepted and submission ratio, it's, I would say about like more than half, slightly over half of the people got it right. So yeah, don't, do not get discouraged even if you cannot solve this quote easy problem on your first try. So I have two approaches solving this problem. One approach is, well, let's do the first approach. The first approach is we create another array called modify underscore array. And this array will not have any duplicate numbers. We run a linear scan on our given array. So there will be nums array, this one. And notice that here we have three heels and belly combined, right? So we have two four four one, and these fours are the uh, heel, and then we have four four one 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 six. And if you look at this guy, like this one, they are they are the they are the part where it forms, uh, they form belly, and we have one six six five. So this six, these two six, they form a heel. So we have three heels and bellies combined. Now the modify underscore array will have two four one six five, and we can we don't we can just you know run a um, another for loop, and then we can determine we can count like how many heels and bellies we have. So this approach has what time complexity of. O of n actually it is 2n but you know we don't care about this constant number but my second approach is also O of n but we only run like this linear scan once here we have we are we are scanning this we do linear scan twice right it's forming this modify underscore array and then we have to work on our modify underscore array to determine to count how many hills and bellies we have in this new array so worst case scenario would be, you know, nums will have all distinct numbers. Then this approach is, yeah, is not really efficient, but, but this approach one is very simple, I think. This is the code for approach one, and we have two for loops going on. The first for loop is where we are constructing this modify underscore array. Uh, the one thing that you have to keep in mind is that we have i starts from one, and then we are comparing this nums of i to modify underscore array at pointer location, pointer index. If they are not equal, then we append this whatever number we are currently on in our nums array. We append that to our modify underscore array and then we move our pointer by one. Okay, so that's for the constructing this modify array. And then we have another for loop and this one is working on modify underscore array. Basically, we just check if we found the hill or not. So the first case is, basically this one is, do we have a hill? If so, then we increment our count variable by one. Else if we have, uh, we have this, so this is essentially determining whether we have a belly. If so, then we increment our count variable by one. And then we return count variable. So that is approach one. We will be using pointer. So pointer on this array is not that difficult, but um, I will have another problem on a, a linked list where we are manipulating like bunch of pointers. And that in that case, you can see the full power of using manipulating pointers. I think that problem is like reversing, say like k like groups of linked list. And the first approach I did it is like you can use the merge sort, but merge sort is n log n but then using the pointer we have o of n so pointer i think yeah is something that should be in your toolkit whenever you are working on this kind of problems so approach two we have pointer and then basically so um let me see, let me see what i wrote here so let's look at this example two three 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 four and then some numbers uh, that follow after four and our pointer also points at index one, so that's gonna be this one, three. And we will move our pointer, which is currently at this index, so this is one, to here, four. Okay, not five, but four. Why is that? We will create two more variables, and then we will call them left, 
number, right number. In this case, our pointer will be at here, and then our left number will be not three, not this guy, not this guy, but this guy. That's gonna be our left underscore number. Our right underscore number will be this guy. So you can see that our left number is this, our pointer is pointing at this one, and then our right number is pointing at this one. So we, then we can compare those three numbers to determine if we have a hill or a belly. So here I have two more variables here. Left number is pointing here. Right number is pointing here. Our pointer was initially pointing this index one, but then we use a uh, inner while loop to move our pointer to here. So here is the code for this approach too. Uh, let me see what I wrote here. So we have a uh, two while loops, and then this inner while loop is where we are moving our pointer to the last index of the of those duplicate numbers. So if I look at say this guy, we have how many? threes do we have? We have four. So our pointer will be move, moved from here to here. So that's what's going on here, this while loop. Okay, and then, and then once we exit the while loop, our right number will be whatever nums, whatever i we have here, right, plus one. Okay, so in that case, our right number will be pointing here. And then we compare left number and then right number to determine we have a hill or a belly. And that's for this approach too. So let's look at the code and see what we get for this problem. Okay, so here is the code. Here are two codes for this problem. The first one is the that um, approach one, where we have two two for loops, and then we basically create a modify underscore array. So let me run this. So yeah, that one was, I think so. So this is so when I first tried this. Um, actually, the second approach, you know, where we had one linear scan was slower than this guy. <laughs> and yeah, so let me, so that was the first approach. And let me um, try the second approach. So we had this and, okay, let me uncomment this and run this. Yeah, so the speed isn't that noticeable, but, um, in theory, this one should be a, a bit faster than the first approach. So that is for this video. And if my video helps you guys understanding this problem, please give me thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.